guys. This is not bright enough. Ooh. There we go, that's brighter. Y'all, I don't know if you can tell by how rough I look, but I am stressed and I am tired. So. You good? Okay, just checking. I'm tired. Do y'all wanna know why I'm tired? First of all, hello and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Ashley Rogers. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Today we are just going to be, well, not tonight, not today. Tomorrow we're going to be doing kind of a vlog with me, kind of hang out with me day. Tonight I just wanted to kind of start it off and tell you guys what is going on in my life right now. Yeah. So first we want to just start with this little cutie right here, Carl. You say hey to the vlog and tell him what you did last night. He said, so last night we had some storms coming through. And they're right, Carl, we had some storms coming through. Except Carl didn't understand that. Um, he thought the thunder was an intruder. So at 1.30 a.m. we decided to start barking every time it thundered. Because how dare someone break into our house. Like how dare they break into our house. Isn't that right, Carl? So when this one started barking, Moto started barking. And all this time I'm like, shut up, your dad's going to wake up. So I'm like, hush, 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 hush. So it finally got him to hush. And I don't know what time it was, but they finally went back to sleep. I was able to go to sleep. We stopped barking and then we get the alerts on our phone. The, you know, I don't know if y'all know the alert that they play for tornadoes. It's the same as if there was a missing person. That starts going off. And my first thought is I'm just going to turn this thing back off. And Jay goes, there's a tornado warning. And I'm like, oh, bleep. We live in a freaking camper. These walls are like this thick. Probably this thick, maybe a little bit thicker than that. Very thin freaking walls and we're on wheels. Like, this is the epitome of what a mobile home is, <laughs> literally. So, my brother calls and I was like, we're heading up there now. I grab the dogs and Jake's the type of person, like, he's slow with everything. He gets ready for work. He's slowly making his way up there. I'm already up there because I'm freaking out. It ended up not hitting us thankfully we were right in the direct path it went away i don't really know what happened but the tornado warning expired so we were in the clear of that tornado warning carl carl come here abby i don't care abby abby come on when y'all get up here all right come on now all right y'all just chill out just for a little bit i know we just got home all right, y'all just chill out for a minute, please. Can we just calm down? Okay, yeah, you were barking last night too. So I'm really tired, but that didn't stop me. I had to get up at eight, not eight o'clock. I was up at 6.30, I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, I had to be at work at eight o'clock this morning. And the reason for that is normally I don't start until about uh, lunchtime, but I decided to go in for a breakfast shift because we need money <laughs> because my car can you stop? What are you doing? Here. So, here's a little backstory on my freaking car. I took it to get my back mufflers fixed because I was like, yes, like I have an exhaust leak. I have something wrong. Let me go get that fixed. So, I went ahead and went to get that fixed. It was $150, which isn't bad at all for two back mufflers. Excited about that. That was not bad. So, then I went to go get my tires because my tire went flat. We were at a party on Saturday night and my tire went flat. So we had to like pump it up. That was a whole mess. It was like midnight and I'm at a like random gas station. People like sketchy people. And I'm just in there like manhandling some freaking tires cause I was sober. So I was the only one that could really drive to go get the air in the tires and it's like midnight. So I went ahead, got those tires, got air in them. Took them back to my car, put it, uh, went there. Sunday I was going to work, that way I can make money to pay for the new tires that I'm going to have to put on my car. I get all the way to Milledgeville and I don't trust my tire at all because it's already flat by the time I get there. And I put air in it and then went to put air in my back tire because it had a hole that we previously plat patched that went out. So it was just a whole thing. So we get new tires on them, that's like $296. Again, not bad, we got used tires, but they're like new, they look really good from economy. So we take it to go get it aligned, which is about to be $79, which isn't horrible. 
So we go up there to get that aligned and they call us and tell us that our lower control arm bushings are bad and that they can't align it until those get fixed because it's not gonna, you know, not gonna work out that way and that those need to be replaced. They quoted us $388. My AC kicked on, so I'm sorry if y'all hear that. But they quote us $388, which is not, we don't have that lying around. Like, we're fucking struggle blaster over here. So we don't have that. So I'm working my butt off and trying not to wear out my brand new tires before I can get alignment to get it all fixed. So life's been freaking stressful lately. But I'm just going to take you guys along on my day tomorrow. We're going to see what happens. We got to, we're going to dash, obviously. We're going to work, obvious. We're going to work, obviously. And then I'm going to call around to like, I wrote them down. I probably got about 10 different companies, auto repair shops that I'm going to call, get a quote on, see if I can get the cheapest quote because me and Jake could probably replace it, but that's a lot on him with him working all week long. He didn't even have a break last weekend. Like he worked the whole weekend. So it's a lot on him to ask him to replace that, even though it would save us money. I'm still going to just try to find the cheapest place to do that. So we're going to call around tomorrow on a break. It's going to be a car vlog, but I'm going to go work another breakfast shift tomorrow because I did pretty good today. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Say bye, Carl. Say bye. Say bye. We'll see you in the morning. Okay. You say see you in the morning? See y'all in the morning. <laughs> but good morning. It's the next day. We're going to start the day off. Look, my scrunchy matches my shirt. How cute is that? I made this scrunchie. I don't know if I posted them for sale yet. I think I'm posting them on Saturday. So, if you're seeing this video tomorrow, I'm posting my scrunchies for sale. And this is the first, one of the ones from the first launch. And then, we all have a Halloween launch coming up soon. I'm super excited. But yeah, I've been pretty active on social media this morning. It's Wednesday. About to start work. I'm getting a pumpkin spice latte. You guys, I'm so excited. I love pumpkin spice. <laughs> and it's fall. It might not be fall, but it's fall to me. I'm starting fall right now. Right now it's fall first. I'm going to stop you guys. Guys, I cannot. Look at how cute this is. Ah! My husband's going to kill me when he watches this video. Love you, babe. Who am I kidding? He's not gonna watch it. Eek! <laughs> Eek! <laughs> also, got some water because hydration. And I got a croissant. This is really good. Totally. I love the hot pumpkin spice from Starbucks like when it's really fall like when it's getting a little bit colder which I'm in Georgia so it's actually gonna get colder here I don't know I'm not excited for it at all I like got rid of most of my winter clothes living in Florida you guys so there are some things that I kept like I have sweaters and I found some sweaters from Walmart for a dollar the other day a dollar a dollar fucking love Walmart clearance Hey guys, thank you for watching my vlog. I know it kind of just cut off there. I didn't do an outro to it. We just kind of stopped after we got coffee that morning. But I went dashing and I made good money that day. But I will check in with you guys on next Friday. So y'all have a great day.